Last month's derecho caused extended power outages for many in the Houston area, and it was just another reminder of how we need our hurricane kits all year long. Isn't that right? Meteorologist John Dawson is talking about ways to deal with a loss in electricity in today's emergency gear test. We have had a few events recently that have caused power outages here in Southeast Texas and dealing with the loss of power is going to be our focus today. But first, you know, I'm going to remind you of those five areas that every household should have emergency plans for. That's going to begin, of course, with food and water. Get a long lasting flashlight or a lantern. Have a way to keep your phone charged when the electricity goes out. And finally, Think about your medications and a well-stocked first aid kit. There is no easy one size fits all answer for emergency power. Everyone must think through their needs and then create a plan. But there is a minimum for everyone, and that is you must have a way to keep your phone charged. A common way to accomplish that is a portable power bank, and I think you should have one that is at least 20,000 milliamp hours in size. And this is an example of one from BioLite. Now, another option that provides a little more flexibility is a solar charger like this one from SunJack. And it actually comes with two 10,000 milliamp hour batteries and you can rotate them out. Keep one on the charger and then use the other one to keep your devices powered. But with all the power that we need nowadays, I really feel like we are wanting something a bit larger, somewhere around 750 to 1000 watt hours. And this power station from EcoFlow is actually one of the smallest that they offer. The solar panels are also one of the smaller that they offer. They have some power stations that are even over 3000 watt hours. A gasoline portable generator is still going to be the most efficient way to provide consistent high wattage power, but these machines can be deadly. We saw loss of life last month after the derecho. If you don't know for certain how to safely operate one, skip this option. These generators come in a variety of sizes, so check the wattage that you need. We talked about emergency power today, and previously we've covered food and water preparations as well as battery powered light. And all of my emergency gear test content is available on the Fox local app for your smart TV. After you download and log on, look under the weather page. There are many videos on demand free and with no subscription required. But to leave me feedback or comments, go to my Facebook page. I'm at John Dawson, Fox 26.